Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So AMC, the overall market. Let's go ahead and see what's going on, guys. So Dow Jones future the S&P 500. NASDAQ hit a fresh bear market lows. Big inflation reports is due on tomorrow, guys. So as we know, like I told you guys, corresponding markets, the futures market overnight, the uh, overall uh, crypto market could also give us an indication on exactly how to market could possibly play out on the following day so that being said guys dow jones future till it higher tuesday night along with s p 500 futures and nasdaq futures as investors look ahead to big inflation reports in federal reserve news so as we know guys this will give us a slight indication that we could possibly see a small little rally going into tomorrow but as we know you know don't take that information and run with it and expect all peaches and cream just because the futures market is trading in an upward trend so with that being said guys i told you guys with all due respect october will be one of those months to go down in the books meaning this is the month you know you want to boost back up those portfolios make hundreds of percentage you know 30 40 percent a day stocks is going to be going up in a single day and you just need to take full advantage guys because it's going to happen as we also know, the market is still in the state that it's in, meaning the market is could possibly go lower from where it currently at. Overall market could drop another 20%. Bitcoin could crash another 40, 50% from where it's at. So you guys need to be very prepared and cautious for that. Meaning the smartest way to be moving right now is a cash position. Meaning you have everything liquidated, you off to the side, unless you invest in solid companies that you've been holding for a while, you got a good average cost and you steady nibbling and adding in why it's still cheap. That's different. But far as if you day trading, investing to get in and out for a short period of time, you definitely need to have that cash position. Just sitting on the side, waiting for the greatest opportunity to come. Get in, make a 50, 30 percent, 100 percent if you're doing options on that money and keep rinsing and repeating until the market actually truly reverses guys so let's go ahead and take a look at this right here though because amc stock perhaps the apes were right guys about amc entertainment after all so if we take a look at this guys we know what amc is doing is basically you know it's golden what he doing with the retail investors accumulating all this capital all this cash and then paying down amc debt to basically make them more superior after all this madness. So we know that AMC peers have basically filed for bankrupt. If AMC competitors, if if more start to file for bankrupt, which I'm sure they soon will, as the economy is saying, they trying to put fear out there and say we're going to we could possibly go into a recession in the middle of next year. But like I told you guys, we is already currently in a recession. A recession is basically whenever consumer consumer spending dries up. People is not spending money like that no more. They, you know, being very skeptical about, you know, what they purchase. They, you know, being very smart about it. So basically, that's a nutshell. In a nutshell, letting you know that we're already in a recession. So what the media tries to do is the feds and all that. They're trying to get millions of retail investors up out of the market and scare you even more. When if you already hold it, hold on through all this, like, it can still drop a little bit more, but what I'm saying is if you made it through all this, you might as well stick it on through. It ain't going to get too much more worse than where we currently at, but, you know, it still could get ugly and bad. But you ain't going to really even notice how bad it is or how ugly it is if you're not involved in the pullback, meaning that's why I said the best position right now is a cash position. So if you're sitting in cash, you don't care what the hell they do. You don't care how much more lower they pull the market down. You don't care how much lower Bitcoin come down because now your cash is that much valuable. So you can now accumulate these cheaper assets and securities for a very, very lower price. And now you've got more quantity within these assets and securities. So that's the best play in my eyes. But what AMC is doing here is about to make themselves very, very dominant in the theater space. And, AM, and the retail investors made it possible for them to even be able to do this. So everybody else is going bankrupt, you know, fighting for cash, racing for cash, trying to get, you know, stay afloat for the next few years or next few months to get throughout this madness until consumer spending can pick back up. While everybody is, you know, panicking, AMC is chilling. 
they paying down debt, sitting over a billion dollars in cash. And basically, once their competitors wiped off the board, that's going to bring everybody business straight to AMC. They're going to be the only movie theater company still standing after all of this. So that being said, imagine, you know, you being the only dope boy out there. <laughs> you getting all the money. Everybody else locked up. They gone. Same situation, same scenario. So that being said, apes could possibly see, you know, from the, the catalyst, the, the boost in revenue, the boost in profits, all that should equate to, you know, a reflection of the price action. And like, we go back full circle to the best of both worlds. If AMC is already theoretically supposed to be the best short squeeze, squeeze play in history, on top of that, it's now fundamentally strong. That's just making it even more of a beast, guys. But we know exactly what's going on, why we haven't seen any real action with AMC yet, guys. We already know. So, as we see here, today, AMC sits on almost $1 billion in cash, plenty to tie the firm over for the next two years. And with the parent of Regal Cinema, Cineworld, teetering on bankruptcy, AMC could soon become the only national chain left standing. And that's insane, guys. That's powerful. So, we also know AMC is being very, very smart with building this email list up with the different type of reward programs and different things that they had going on to, to connect, the you connect with the uh, investors and all that good stuff that they had going on, building up that email list to be able to, to further connect with investors and to further push along AMC vision and what they got going on, trying to turn the whole thing around. So it's a lot in store for AMC guys. They definitely have the money to do whatever it is that they want to do now. So that's the most important thing. And they also able to pay down that debt. So you already know what to do, guys. Add your boy on Instagram at the B Hey Show. Get in VIP. Watch out for spam. The fake accounts. They is getting too good with it. It look very much very, very identical, guys. But I never reach out for you first. I never talk about what's up. I never hit you up about, you know, money or you spending money or none of that. So be very, very cautious, guys. Know it's fake. Report them. I love y'all. We out and God bless you.